Today I'm going to be featuring my truck. I know I haven't been featuring it much, mainly because I've just been driving it around, enjoying it, using it to haul stuff. But it has been doing something kind of unusual that I'm going to try and fix today. So the temp gauge swings quite a bit. It'll get all the way to the hot and then it will stay there for a minute and then it'll swing back down to about here, the first tick mark. From the reading that I've done, it sounds like I probably have an aftermarket thermostat that's on its way out. So I went ahead and bought an OEM Cummins one and I'm gonna go ahead and install it today. So here's my new OEM thermostat. It's 180 degree. That's the, uh, the one to get according to the reading that I've been doing. And in this nifty little kit, one of the ways that you can identify an OEM one is it has two of these little pins, which are actually bypass check valves kind of, but really crude ones. Aftermarket ones typically only have one hole, but the genuine ones have two. And then they have this additional black piece on top and the aftermarkets that I have seen do not. And then it also comes with the seal as well. Eventually I am gonna replace this radiator because it's kind of on its last legs. You can see right there where I patched one of the tubes that actually cracked. So this thing's getting pretty fatigued and it's time for a new one, but until I pick up a new one, I'm just gonna try replacing the thermostat so that I'm not stressing about overheating problems in the meantime. Eventually I'll get around to putting an upgraded radiator in this thing. So first I need to drain some coolant out of this thing and then I'm gonna take the belt off, swing the alternator out of the way, and then I can access the thermostat housing. So I get the feeling that my drain pet cock there is gonna snap off if I try and loosen it because it's pretty dang tight and if I put a tool on that I think I'm gonna break it and so I'm just gonna siphon some coolant out of the top. Alright, so I got everything out of my way. Now I'm going to loosen these 10 millimeters all around the housing, pop it off, and see what I got going on under there. Someone was smart enough to put anti-seize on these bolts. Well done. Too bad they weren't smart enough to use a OEM thermostat. So my suspicions were correct. This one just has one little bypass pin and that's not enough. And this is just not high quality. So I'm gonna replace this junk with my new OEM Cummins part made in the USA. I got all my mating surfaces cleaned up. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is install the thermostat in the housing and it needs to sit in there just like that so that the little bypass pins are at 12 and 6 o'clock relative to the way the housing is positioned right now. And the gasket is pretty foolproof. It tells you which direction to go. And then your lift eye goes just like that. And then the gasket should actually stick up above this surface just a bit to create the seal against the block. It 
short one goes on the bottom. The torque spec listed for these three bolts is 18 foot-pounds in the manual. I think that might be a bit excessive, but I'll bust out the torque wrench and see how it feels. Even with anti-seize on the threads, I feel comfortable with 18 foot-pounds. It seems fine. This little guy gets torqued to 8 foot-pounds. And the lower one that allows it to pivot gets torqued to 30 foot-pounds. Now I'm going to clean the gunk out of the end of my radiator hose and then reinstall it. Always a good idea to triple check the routing on this prior to starting it back up. This coolant's kind of nasty. Normally I do a flush at this point. But since I'm replacing the radiator soon anyways, I'm just going to fill it up with distilled water since I'm in an area that it's not going to freeze right now. Radiator's topped off. Now I'm just going to start the truck, kind of massage the radiator hoses a little bit to try and get any bubbles out. And I'm going to make sure that my heat is on so that everything's circulating. And then I want my radiator to be the tallest point in the cooling system so that all of the air comes out of here. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and then close it up, take it for a test drive and see how it does. But first I wanna clean this out. While I was at it, I went ahead and chopped a little bit of the length off of this elbow just to get me some more clearance with the alternator. And now my intake stuff doesn't chafe anywhere, which is a nice little bonus. So I took the old girl out for a spin and she's still definitely running hotter than normal according to the gauge, but it is running cooler than it was with the old thermostat, so that's a good improvement. I suspect when I replace that crusty old radiator with a nice aluminum one, I'll probably stop seeing any issues like this at all. Anyways, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more truck related content.